guys, Fred and Sheila McCoy, Hatfield McCoy Museum, fredmccoy.com. Sheila's behind the camera. Hi guys, hope you're having a great evening. Periodically, Sheila and I do a, a video on survival or uh, bug out bags or survival <laughs> guns or things like that. And I um, want to show, this is a Ruger Mark IV, the 22. 45 mm -hmm. and uh, this here is the uh, what was it called Sheila? Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper. <laughs> Stormtrooper. Now they had them in black and they mm -hmm. had them in uh, black and gold and different mm -hmm. things but I don't know why it was because I'm not a Star Wars fan or ever who Stormtroopers are but I, I did like that gun. Right. Now first right. thing I'm going to do Oh. It's on mode. They give you two magazines with safety, it when safety. you buy it. There was the price on it. That's what it cost. I don't think there's one in the chamber, but we'll check it just to make sure, and there's not. All righty. <clears throat> Why is that gun called a 2245? Well, it's called a 22 because it's actually it actually shoots 22 rounds. Okay called a 45 because anybody that was ever in the military the 1911 coat okay. uh, 45 that's the grip a lot of people mm -hmm. like the 1911 <clears throat> coat 45 grips because it gives you plenty of room for your hand small right. hand large hand it doesn't matter it, it's a good fit and skinny uh, the 45 has one uh, tray of bullets that go up through there they're not double stacked and just as these here are one uh, one on one. Ruger Mark IV. Um, so it's 22 caliber, 45 mm -hmm. grips. Okay. One thing that this gun has, first of all, it's got the track on top if you want to put you a, a scope, if you want to put you a, another kind of sight. Laser you can do it. or a laser. Mm -hmm. uh, look here at the uh, flash suppressor here. Seen this that. actually screws off. Oh, that's cool. You can leave it like that to minimize the size of the gun mm -hmm. to make it a smaller uh, in length. Right. You can take the flash suppressor off. They also make, for this gun, they also make another two or three of these that screws right on mm -hmm. that are actually silencers. Oh. So if you want to get your license to have a silencer and pay the fee and do mm -hmm. all that, mm -hmm. you can actually put a silencer on that gun. Wow. There's some of them four inches, there's some of them six inches, and some of them, sounds like the kickoff? No, no, okay. I'm sorry, it was the sensors. Oh, okay. So uh, that's the uh, Smith & Wesson Mark IV, and we'll open back up here in a minute. We may sh go shoot a couple rounds to show you what it's like. Guys, uh, we're going to, we're in a different location. We're going to shoot Sheila and I are a couple uh, different guns just as a uh, refresher more or less. Or so. mm -hmm. But what we're going to do now, we just came from the other room, or we did yesterday. We got in here going to shoot, and we realized we didn't have the targets run off that we needed. So this is another day, and we're going to, we're going to play one game of tic-tac-toe. And then we're going to show you how to take the uh, 2245 apart, how easy it is to clean. Okay. And then that will conclude this video. Sheila, you got anything so far I've left out that you can think of? No. No, I okay. think good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to load the magazine. I'm going to let Sheila go first. And we're going to play our traditional game <laughs> tic -tac -toe. of tic-tac-toe. And, uh... Okay. I'm going to go for top left. I'm not even going to call it. Wherever it goes is where it goes. Good top shot, left. baby. No, you got to call it. So we'll know. I'm going to go for the middle. Oh. No, I didn't mean to do it. I'm off to the left. So, uh, 
It's a new gun to both of us. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is a new gun. That's okay. It still counts. It don't matter. That's what you don't have to. No, call. I'm just trying to strategize. We don't have to call our shots. As long as it goes in a block, that still counts. I'm counting that one against you. I'm okay. not giving you a. Okay. A Top inch. right. Mm. Okay, you didn't work. Okay, hold that a minute. Did it chamber around? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I squeezed it. It just may just happen. be the trigger pull, punk. Top. Okay. Top right. Oh, interesting. Okay. It does have a stick. You're in there. I, I see the it. Line, Top right. Right there on the right edge. It does have a tough trigger pulled on. It does. On. It's different. So you've got the two top. I'm going to go top, middle. Okay. Top, middle. We're in there. Okay. You did top, middle. All I'm going to do, I'm going to do the bottom right. Bottom right. I think it's. I think it's right. Okay. And you're the top right, so I've got to go. I'm top left. And top, and right. top right. So I've got to go right middle. Okay. I'm in there, so. So you block me there, but yeah. I got you in the middle if I get it. Now, you've got to block me in the middle or I've got it. Yeah. I think the cat's going to get this one. No, dear. Top huh? left is me. Oh, God, you got the top left and the bottom. Yes. I thought you was doing the middle to block me. No. Okay. Pretend you don't see that, guys. This was Sheila. Yeah. This is Sheila. Yep. That's me. Yep. I blocked her. This is you. This is me. This is Sheila. Mm -hmm. and, and that's she already it. had that for her first shot. Yep. So. Yeah. So I had this one, this one, and this one. I had you either this way here, or I had you this way. Yeah, yeah. You blocked me here. Okay. So uh, we, we all get it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> we all get it. Shooting range is a mess. Yep. Sorry about that. It's all good. The, no uh, worries. The gun. First thing we're going to do here is unload. Safety check. We're going to lock her back. Right. No magazine. Nothing in the barrel. Sheila's going to look. Nope. I'm looking. Guys, how you uh, clean this gun or take it apart, Easy peasy. it's completely different from the original uh, Ruger. Everybody loved to shoot the Rugers, but they hated cleaning them. So we're going to let the slide go home. We're going to pull the trigger. Well, we're going to put the safety on. Let's put the safety on. And after we put the safety on, we're going to push this button right back here at the back. Hold it in. And right there's what happens. Now watch here. There's your gun. Take your bolt out. And there's your gun completely apart. Where you can clean it. Holy cow, yeah. Put your easy. bolt. Put your bolt back in. Come spring down here. Spring facing up, right? That spring facing up. You put it back together. Good job, Your gun baby. is ready to, to fire again. So, anyway, again, that gun itself was um, $649. We bought that one at a little gun shop down the road. It come with two magazines. And, um... Yeah, it's a good little gun. I just gotta get yeah. used to the trigger. Be like, Sheila made fun of me because I, I don't usually go for the flash and all that go for something practical go for yeah. something go for your glocks i love glocks go for your a uh, practical round a uh, practical gun yeah but for some reason yeah the way that was in that gun the grip cabinet, maybe or well the we, we bought itself. this gun mm -hmm. for our ccdw classes carry right. concealed classes right. the permits that uh, Sheila and I are both instructors for here in Kentucky. And that's an easy gun for women to fire. That's an easy gun for women. That's not ever a fire to gun, I should say, because some women can fire. But Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, look at Sheila. You know, when Sheila and I met, Sheila couldn't. She'd never shot a gun. 
never shot a gun. No. And that's the easiest people to teach is somebody that's never shot a gun and don't have any bad habits. And Sheila, she, like I said, we used to take her out and let her shoot with the, I used to be the police firearms instructor for a couple of departments that I worked for. And, and Sheila would go shoot with the officers. And uh, the first one up in Pike County, we shot up there at Hardy Park. Up behind Hardy Park, there's a little log cabin uh, like. Mm -hmm. And Bill Scott was the deputy sheriff, and he also took care of the park. And up above his house in that holler was the best place to shoot ever was. And a bunch of us deputies, detectives and uh, deputies, would go over and convene and have farms practice. And and, uh, we would set up obstacle courses from the car, getting out of the car and shooting from the door opening to run into the back, shooting over the trunk passenger side over the motor. We had post office mailboxes set up. We had newspaper boxes set up. We had railroad ties where you had to shoot from the prone position. We had doors, something like that behind you on the floor there. That's okay, but there's a door laying down there and that's what that's for to shoot Mm -hmm. around an obstacle. And and we'd stop watching, of course. And Sheila would, uh, I remember the year that we done that for qualification, Sheila beat every one of the deputies. I mean, we had some good we're from the mountains. Everybody in the mountains can shoot. And she'll outshot every one of us. So Take care for my parents. <laughs> there's a, uh, a trophy around here somewhere where uh, we done the same thing over at Junction City when we... But anyway, anyway guys, yeah. that's going to conclude this video on the 2245. And if you're looking for... I mean, this would be good for home defense. You can put you some mm-hmm. hollow points in there and so forth. Again, some people say, oh, I don't like a 22. they They're not that deadly. 22s are deadly. 22s are deadly. You have no, no uh, recoil for those women or men that doesn't like recoil. That's right. Uh, you know, you've got 10 rounds here. And you can get extended ra- magazines for these. So uh, this is a good home self-defense gun along with being a practical target gun snake gun if you're going hiking or walking out in the woods or whatever mm-hmm. you want something to take with you that's going to uh, i'll let Sheila get over there over here. that's okay where you're at yeah, just over here. conclude this video Sheila, you got anything that we're not discussing for women uh um, no, I like the gun. Like I said, it is easy um, to load and to demonstrate how to pull it back and stuff. For women that's never fired a gun before, this would be a good one. Uh, real easy to do. Um, and uh, like you said, it's practical. That's what matters. Yep. Uh, it's something they'll carry. Uh, yeah, I think they will. Better to have something. You know, we've yeah. got stories of people yeah. that had large larger guns and couldn't uh operate them they didn't know how they were too heavy they couldn't pull yeah they, they wouldn't back. carry them they, they didn't like the recoil the bang it would well fry, we had uh afraid of it. remember that guy that older guy we had come through one time years ago yeah and he yeah. said um had a real heavy big old uh desert eagle or something mm-hmm. and i said you're not going to carry that that's not practical oh yeah yeah i'm gonna carry it and I said, you know, it's better to have a gun that you'll carry, even if it's a twenty-two. Exactly. It's better to have a little three eighty. Yeah, I like that little thing. Or, too. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, she also carries that one. Yep. And uh, she carries two. And um, but we told them it's more practical to carry a twenty-two, something you'll have with you, than it is to carry a forty-four and have it out in the glove compartment of your truck. Oh, I'm going to carry it. Mm-hmm. I'll carry it. He said. About a month or two later, after our class, we saw him. Um, Walmart or somewhere, and we talked for a while and laughing and carrying on. I said, where's your gun at? And he said, uh, oh, it's out in the truck. And I said, I thought you was going to carry that. He said, that thing's so heavy. I can't carry exactly what we had told him when yeah, he... Uh, bless his heart. Yeah. So. All right, guys, Sheila, you can do your closing. All right. We hope you enjoyed our video today. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thanks, guys.